Uh, I have this book coming out, Adventures Among Ants, which uh, is actually an, an entomological adventure story where, where I take people around the world to meet with different ants that are quite extraordinary. And uh, and in these adventures everywhere, I've actually eaten ants a number of places. So this comes up two or three times in the book. The weaver ant, which is on the cover of the book, is actually really tasty. Uh, so if you pluck one off the tree and eat one, you'll impress your friends, as you can do anywhere in Africa, Asia, or, or Northern Australia. In fact, I've seen Australians like eat them casually, and the Aborigines there use them uh, to cure their sinuses. So you take a nest of weaver ants, which is up in a tree, smash it, and uh, put it up your nose, and it's like Vicks vapor rub. It smells just like that, and your sinuses are cleared up like that. And then, of course, there are the uh, the Atta ants, the uh, leafcutter ants that are used for as a hot sauce in Venezuela. You get a bunch of ant heads floating in the top of this sauce that's in the middle of all the little restaurant tables. And uh, you get any number of ants eaten by tribes in different places. So ants are things I've tried. I've actually uh, uh, given talks at uh, symposia on eating us, uh, on alternative foods for a sustainable future in places like China. Uh, where they've had sessions on things like how to eat rat and uh, scorpion and, and uh, uh, centipedes. Centipedes are always uh, a little crunchy to me. I don't know what you'd think, but it depends how you prepare them. And I always think it's important to have the native people prepare them. So I've eaten the world's largest tarantulas in Venezuela and you use the fangs as a toothpick afterwards to clean your teeth. <laughs> Very convenient. So you prefer the ants? versus the rats in China? Uh, well, rats are actually, I do have a good story on rats. I was uh, coming out of Cameroon, where I'd been with a French research team in the canopy, and we'd eaten fine French food in the middle of the rainforest, which was just, just great. But after days of that, I, we actually all wondered what the actual Cameroon people ate in Africa. So uh, we forced the driver on our way out from this field trip to stop at a small restaurant, and everyone was ordering porcupine and pangolin and weird things. But there was one vegetarian, and she's like very dismayed, and she finally notices there's a vegetarian platter at the end of the list on the menu, and she says, I'll have that. And it comes, and it's so tasty. She really loves the vegetarian platter, but then we look at it, and we see little bits of brown flecks in it. So it turns out the Cameroon people don't really understand the idea of vegetarian, and they had added diced rat to the vegetarian platter. Wow. And you can imagine the look in this woman's face, because not only did she she eat the rat, but she <laughs> liked the rat. Oh! <laughs> it's not good. And do you like grasshoppers? Because I, I do. do uh, I do like grasshoppers. Uh, I'm a friend of Zarella, who's a chef, a famous uh, Mexican chef in, in uh, New York. And uh, when I come over to her restaurant, she prepares crickets and grasshoppers and mealworms for us to have with the rest of her uh, regular menu items. So that's always fun. Yeah, it's one of the things that I like. Uh, taco with guacamole and grasshoppers with some sauce on it. It's a good one. Uh, yes. Yeah, yeah. Well, can you guess which country in the world has the most eats the most insects? Well, I would say Mexico because I'm from there, but I don't know about Asia or something like that. Well, that's true. It is actually Mexico and Thailand are tied. It's in the 80s of species, 80 plus species for both countries. It all depends where you go in those countries, but. And of course, they've got the best cuisines in the world too, Mexico and Thailand. You can't I agree. Playing <laughs> with the fact that they eat insects because everything else is so good too. Yep. Okay. Thank you very much. Yeah, that was fun.